Welcome everyone. In today's video, I just wanted to do the week six recap for the Drift 1K trading challenge. As you can see here, the market is still continuing to rug everyone. I think from the start of the year till today, we've not we've not been doing too well. Like mostly sideways action, and in fact, we're down 17% year to date. So if anyone has been like long bias, it's been really hard to make money on the majors. Of course, you've had things like NFTs just continue to not care about the market conditions. Basically, what we're doing is trading like Sol, ETH, Bitcoin, and most of the other major layer ones. And uh, basically, the results are reflected here. Only two of us are in profit um, in this past six weeks because that's how hard the, the market has been rugging. And I can only assume that everyone is long bias trading, which makes sense because you can make thousands of percent going long in crypto, but you can only ever make 100% going short. And that's never really realistically going to happen, is it? Uh, so 0x Shake and uh, Trader Marky are the, oh, well, FTX Ape as well. I think one of his positions just suddenly went in the green. Um, but everyone else is currently unprofitable right now. But I think this should change soon. Um, all we need is some sort of bullish catalyst soon um, to actually get the market turning around. It would be a real shame if we went through a prolonged bear market through this drift races, uh, you know, program. I think it ends after about 18 weeks or so or something like that. And it would suck if everyone lost money. So there was just a couple of news items that I wanted to mention. So on May 5th, USDD is going to launch. And so Tron is creating their own algo stable and they're going to be paying a risk-free interest rate of 30% APY. I'm sure you guys have heard Near is going to do something similar and they're looking to pay 25% APY, I think, or 20%. It was something similar to that. And that's launching within, it's either launched now by the time you watch it or within the next week. And so we're going to start to see more uh, algo stables get launched. A lot of them are going to go to zero. Um, and in fact, you don't even need a layer one token to uh, actually do it. You just need something that accrues value, right? Uh, Uniswap, for example, they could turn what well, they could turn their token into something that's actually useful and make it um, an algo stable volatility governance token. I had this tweet here from uh, Dynamo DeFi, Patrick. Uh, and he made a really interesting one. So he says here that there are only three types of coins he's interested in at this stage. Layer ones, al algo stable volatility absorbing tokens and DeFi governance tokens that receive fees directly. And I think this is this is just such an insightful tweet because these are the only ones that are actually going to uh, accrue value. I mean, most DeFi governance tokens claim to receive uh, fees directly. I would really just... Uh, narrow it down to to these two categories and this being like a third subcategory where it's a lot more riskier than the other two to make an investment in i mean layer one tokens are like inherently valuable because they're needed to interact on these blockchains uh, eth is is one of the most valuable assets in crypto we know that and I think it will be the most valuable uh, asset fairly soon, but we'll see about that. And the algo stable volatility absorbing tokens, so we, you know, uh, Luna, Brax, RDPX, Waves was one that was quite recently that people cared about, but Waves they've you know shown to be very shady, so we're going to ignore that for now. But I'm coming out with a video on just some algo stable volatility absorbing tokens that I think are interesting because they're going to play off the massive sort of we're going to have a super cycle when it comes to stable coins within crypto. Currently right now, the circulating market cap of uh, stable coins in crypto is like $180 billion. And it's going to hit a trillion within like, say, the next, you know, five years. And some of that value is going to trickle down to the algo stables. So, I mean, Luna's had a massive run. And we've seen the growth of UST, and that will probably continue. Something like Frax as well. And then RDPX is a real sleeper if they can manage to execute on their stablecoin strategy properly, and then we're going to see, you know, just massive growth in all of those tokens. So let's just get into market and just, I mean, look, just for the past, I want to say two or three weeks, right? So the past three weeks, it's just straight down only, down 15%. Um, and, you know, that's why a lot of the drift races have been losing money. You throw in leverage as well, and then just destruction uh unfortunately so obviously none of this video is financial advice i hope you enjoyed this and make sure to subscribe for more videos like this one